Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you. So we are discussing our lesson that is what? From production and management. In that we have uh, discussing about irrigation. Already we have discussed about the irrigation. Also we have discussed about the what are the sources of irrigation. So today we move for the next point from the same point that is what? Traditional methods of irrigation. So today we will discuss about the which are the methods for the irrigation. Among that, we will discuss first that are traditional methods of irrigation. So, which are the traditional methods of the irrigation that we will discuss. So, in the traditional method, there were used of the cattle as well as the laborers. Okay, or the human labor work is more. Cattle are also used to irrigate the plant or the crops or also we can say the human or the laborers work is more in the traditional method. Okay. Human labor is used in this method, in the traditional method. Okay. So there are the different traditional methods we will see, which are that like that we can say that moon, chain pump, hetty, and ram. Okay. So all these four methods you can see in the image how it exactly it was. Okay. So these are the traditional methods of the irrigation. That is what moon, chain pump, hetty, and ram. Okay. So these were the traditional method. Then why the people leave it or why the people nowadays it is not using it because these methods are cheaper but less efficient. Okay. So these methods were cheaper means we have to not give the more amount or it will not cost the more money. But it is not that much efficient. Okay. So irrigation means what we have to provide the water at a regular interval but with the help of that is what we have to control the wastage of water also okay. So for that reason these traditional methods were not that much efficient okay. So now we will discuss about the modern methods of irrigation okay. So which are the modern methods of the irrigation there are the basically two main uh, types of the modern methods of the irrigation that are what? Sprinkler system and a drip system. Okay. So one by one we will discuss. First we will go through the sprinkler system. Okay. So the sprinkler system means what? So the sprinkler system useful on the uneven land where is the availability of the water is what? Less. So the sprinkler system mainly used in the area where the land is what? Uneven or there is no plain land where there is an uneven land. And also we can say that there is a less availability of the water in that region. The sprinkler air system of the water or the watering plant is air used. Okay. Next one is that perpendicular pipe having the rotating nozzle on it. So in the image you can see how it is exactly sprinkler system. Okay. So the sprinkler system is having what perpendicular pipe the land. So the, there is a one pipe which is perpendicular to the land and on the top of that perpendicular pipe there is a one rotating nozzle which are having the holes. Okay, that is only we are calling as what? Nozzle and that nozzle is what? Rotating. Okay, so on the perpendicular pipe there is having a rotating nozzle on the top. So Whenever the water is going in the main pipe or whenever the water is flowing at the uh, from the main pipe at the regular interval of the time under the high pressure, then what happens with the help of these nozzles, the water is escaped, okay, or the water is coming out with the help of these nozzles, okay. So whenever the water is flowing to, uh, with the high pressure in the main pipe, with the help of the rotating nozzle, the water is escaped can say the water is comes out from the nozzle okay and it almost looks like a rain we are regularly sprinkled over the crops okay so it mainly useful for the sandy soil this sprinkler system is mainly useful for the sandy soil okay and it sprinkle on the crop like a rain but in the sprinkle irrigation what happened sprinkle irrigation system is useful in the sandy soil or we can say the the water or the, in the area where there is a not sufficient water or we can say that there is a not available, there is not that much amount of the water or there is a scarcity of the water we can say that. But with the help of the sprinkler irrigation what happens the water reaches to the parts of a plant okay where it is not exactly required okay. 
where is the water required in the plant it should goes into the soil and from the soil the roots can absorb that water but in the sprinkle irrigation what happen with the help of the roots the water is also get sprinkled through the whole plant where it is not that much necessary okay so with the help of the sprinkle irrigation we can sprinkle or we can irrigate the crops but there are the certain limits for the sprinkle irrigation also okay that is the limit is what so that more amount of the water is getting wasted or the more amount of the water is getting uh, we are irrigation we are doing the irrigation to the parts of a plant where it is not required or there is a not requirement for the water or in that area there is not requirement of the water where is the exactly water necessary in the roots or how the roots will get absorb the water whenever the water will goes into the soil so for that there is a next method which is very efficient that is what drip irrigation or we can say that drip system so in the drip system what happen the water falls drop by drop just at the position of the root okay so in the image you can see that where is the exactly water falls during by using the drip irrigation what happen the drop by drop water is get falls just at the position of the root okay so in this way what happen the water will get in that portion only where there is a necessity of the water okay also next one you can say that best for watering fruits plants gardens and trees so this drip irrigation is useful for the fruit plants gardens and the trees or so this technique is most useful for the watering fruit plants gardens and the tree and in this drip irrigation there is no wastage of the water the water is not getting wasted how the water is not getting wasted because as we know as you can see in the image also the drop by drop water is fall just at the position of the roots okay where it is exactly necessary or where it is exactly necessity of the water okay next one is that and this drip irrigation system is grown in a region where the availability of the water is poor and this drip irrigation is the very important technique or the very important techniques in the region where there is a scarcity of the water or we can say there is a where the availability of the water is poor or in short we can say that in the areas where there is a scarcity of the water okay so these are the two main uh, modern uh, methods of the irrigation that are what sprinkle system and the drip system okay so, so this is all about irrigation